So we're hoping for the best here. Um, I think this is going to work now. I'm hoping. All right. So um, pragmatic analysis. Uh, you will need uh, the your... Uh, this is why I don't want to do audios. I'm very disfluent. A lot of linguistic debris. Um, you'll need this the five-page handout on in resources. Um, your outline tells you where to find them. And then I also have given you um, two files of Felicity. Okay? Now, pragmatic analysis is tough because... It is really gray. It's not black. It's not white. It is very, very gray. Um, and what you are doing is you're trying to figure out the purposes of each utterance. And in interaction, it's a wide, it's, it's a very wide uh, gamut of purposes. Okay, so the first for the first step is you're going to set up your file, all right? And you're going to use your main transcription file, your MTF file. And the first page explains to you how you're going to do it. So you already have an MTF file. And so you are literally, now you're going to delete all that extra stuff after the child's 50th utterance. Now you're going to delete it all. Thank you for not deleting it yet. But now you're going to delete it all. And you are going to add columns. And so follow the directions for adding the columns for um, by the adult utterance and by the child utterance. And like I said, I've given you a model of um, uh, so that you can see what you're doing and compared to the Felicity model, okay? I want you to rename this file Pragmatic, okay? You'll still have an intact MTF file now, but now you have a new file that is your table, your interaction table, that only is from utterance one child to utterance 50 child and everything else. And so the um, Felicity file shows you this, okay? <coughs> now, um, on page two, you're going to be doing several things. For each child and adult utterance, you have to decide if it is an, an initiation move or if it's a responding move. And um, for the most part, this can be clear, but it's something that you have to be very intentional and deliberate and thoughtful about. Okay? I would... Um, uh, have you go through the Felicity model with explanations so that you can see the I's and the R's in the columns so, um, so that you can kind of understand sort of what's an initiation and what's a response. Now, on page two, in the middle, it gives you the types. Now, in the file with the explanation, I wrote the types. You do not have to write the types. The types are just there so that you can understand what could be an initiation, what could be a response. All you are doing is putting an I and an R next to the adult utterance and to the child utterance, okay? The directions kind of tell you to do the adult first and then do the following with the child try to do that, or you can do both at the same time. All right. So for example, if you're looking at the Felicity um, file with explanations, um, 
the uh, Felicity, her first utterance is, this is from my birthday. And that's an initiation because that starts a new topic. Okay. And then she says, you can play, you can play with this or you can play with this with me. Again, she's extending the topic. That's an initiation. And then the adult says, all right. And so the adult is responding to that utterance and she's acknowledging what Felicity just said. Okay. Then Felicity says, there's a brush. So guess what? She's starting a new topic. That's an initiation. And then the adult says, a brush to comb her hair. So she's sustaining the topic. So she's responding. That's an R. Okay. This is not a right or wrong thing. This is going through every utterance and determining the pragmatic function of each utterance. Because remember, interaction, it's all contingent on each other. Okay. But I think if you would read through Felicity's and re and especially the one with um, explanations, it might make sense. And then next week, not next week, the week of the 30th, um, I'll have a Zoom meeting open where we can talk about this more because the pragmatic analysis is not due until April 3rd. And we're not doing a peer review with this because it's too hard. Um, so, so that is, so the first step is you have to decide if it's a response or if it's initiation and you are doing every utterance of the adult and every utterance of the child. Okay. Then you, um, there is in your packet, you're going to be determining, um, uh, what percentage of the utterances are responses and what percentage of the utterances are, um, initiations. And we're going to have a sample of a summary table for Felicity for you. And I will post that, um, uh, probably by the beginning of March 30th. Okay. We're working on that. Um, another thing we're going to be doing, so, so you're going to set up your file. You're going to decide, is it, is each utterance an initiation or a response? Then do that. Then you're going to decide, is each utterance a statement or a question? Okay. That's why you needed to put the question marks. And, um, so you're going to put an S in every utterance for the child and the adult. That is a statement. Then you have to determine, is it a single word statement? Is it a phrase or is it a complete sentence? If it's a complete sentence, then you have to determine, is it a simple sentence? Is it a compound sentence? Is it a complex sentence? Okay. You can do that. I know you can do that. Um, then you're going to go back to the empty cells because you're not going to code. You're only going to code if it's a statement. Then you're going to go back to those empty cells, which you determined are questions. And you have to decide what kind of question it is. Now, this is what gets tricky because in the middle of page four, it lists the types of questions. It could be a statement with a rising intonation. It could be a tag question. Um, I know you know how to do that, don't you? Okay, so it's like a statement with a question tagged onto it. Um, it could be a yes, no question. And this is clear for the adult, but it may not be clear for the child because it may not be grammatically correct for the child, okay? But what you need to determine is, is the response a yes or a no? If it is, it's a yes, no question. Okay. Then you have two types of WH questions. You have a WH question that's closed and a WH question that's open. So WHC and WHO. And the difference is 
Is it a WH question that only requires a single word response? Okay, what is that? A doll. Single word response. What do you think is going to happen? An open-ended response. Okay, that's the determination that you have to make. It, 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 this is, you would think that it's very clear cut and it's not. Remember, pragmatic, we're, we're in the grain lane, everybody. Um, and so please read page four because it talks about determining that. So that's pragmatic analysis. Um, uh, after the statements and questions, then you're going to record the numbers and determine the percentages um, for uh, what percentage of the utterances were statements, what percentage of the utterances were questions for both the adult and the child. And again, you have the summary table. I've also posted the summary table um, in the resources, and I've also posted the summary table in the pragmatic summary on the assignment tab. Let me just look if that is there. No. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong class. Pragmatic. Yes. So if you click on the assignment tab, you'll have the summary table um, is there as well. You have it. Um, you'll notice the hard copy that Marie gave you in class. You have two extra rows in there that I've deleted um, because it just... Um, uh, we weren't going to go there. That was one thing that I took out of the analysis. Okay, so when you're ready um, to open everything for pragmatic analysis, don't do this until you're done with syntax A and you've submitted it. <coughs> and then hopefully, if I have my if I get my act together this week, um, uh, you might be alerted to. Um, I might use class time on Thursday and Friday. Um, for an explain, um, uh, more of an explanation for pragmatic analysis. Um, I know this wasn't fluent. I'm sorry. Uh, but hopefully a little bit of audio is helpful. Okay. Take care. Bye.